Thank you. I'm so proud of you and the collection looks amazing. And it was so fun to be on set and work with you guys. So I'm just glad to be here and glad to share this with you all. Amazing. So I asked um, our friends who are joining us on the live stream some questions uh, over the weekend. If anybody had any questions for us about the collection to send them to us this weekend. And so we got a ton of great questions which I'm really excited about. I have them written down here, so I don't forget. Um, yes. So make sure we answer quite a few of them. But um, this, by the way, is our first drop of Carly Kloss Ex Adidas. And so get excited because there's, there's more to come, but we're really excited um, to tell you more about kind of, I don't know, all that's led up to this yeah. and pieces. So by the way, for anyone who's just joining us, um, there's this amazing tool that you can actually, um, oh, let me make sure I'm using my tool, uh, <laughs> that I can share the pieces via this live stream. So let's see here, pin a product. Can you, can you guys see it? Can you see the product pinned? Let's see here. If not, I'm going to add it now. Okay. Um, I don't think, can you, can you guys see it? There we go. Okay. Oh, yes, we can see it. You can see it now. Okay, great. Okay, so just a quick shout out. Our beautiful uh, campaign model here, Alexis, is also a Code of Classy alum. Yeah. of many years and a superstar over at NYU studying engineering right now. Yes, and we are so excited to sit here with you guys and answer some questions. And I have a few of them written down too. So I think the first one we have for Carly and it is just what was your inspiration for this collection? Um, well, I feel like you, lady, are a serious part of, of the inspiration for so many things. Um, but definitely, like, the, the Code with Classic community is such a core part of my life and, and, like, what drives me every day to want to, I don't know, c to continue to build Code with Classy to create more opportunities for amazing young women like yourself. But also, I'm so inspired by, like, you and your passion and your energy and everything that you bring to your daily life. Like, you are such a creative soul and you are fearless. And I can say that same thing about so many of your peers. You know, I'm so inspired by the next generation of young women who are making strides in their life and who are, you know, taking on, like challenging the status quo and using their passions to, you know, create the kind of world that they want to live in, um, whether that's like tackling big, conversations that are happening like in real time like whether it has to do with climate change uh, or or social justice and using coding to kind of create solutions to these bigger kind of conversations and problems and so i'm just so inspired by the next generation like you and so this was designed for you with you in mind and um and it's and also a big part of kind of designing this, which was a whole new experience for me, getting to work with the Adidas design team was working with, um, you know, prime green and prime blue materials, which are materials that are recycled from ocean plastics or plastics recycled from the land. So no virgin plastics were kind of used to create any of the products. And so that's actually something that is, I have to give huge props to Adidas for because they've been pushing kind of uh, what's possible um, for, for years now on that front. Uh, that's amazing. I love that. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, Alexis, what advice would you give to someone who might be afraid to wear orange because it might not suit them? Oh, that's <laughs> a really, really good question. Well, like my first answer to that is orange really suits everyone. I think that 
looking at the collection, orange might seem daunting. Although when I first saw like those amazing orange jackets, I was like, that's so cool. And I want to wear that. But everyone looks really, really good in orange. And if you are like afraid of having such a loud piece, what you can do is have a really toned down outfit, a lot of neutrals, and then adding that orange will just be like an extra little pop. And I always love doing that with my outfit. So that would be my advice to you. How do you think you would style the orange? I think it always looks great. You know, it's funny. I feel like I love a bright pop of color with neutrals. So like for me, what I'm wearing right now, like this is the parka, which I love. And I always kind of pair it with like, like neutral black leggings and like a white sports bra and like being able to mix and match pieces that have a lot of personality, which like this color has a lot of personality. And <laughs> don't get me wrong. I understand that like some People might not, you know, might not be the first um, thing that they think to kind of style in their daily wardrobe. However, I would say one um, friend who just recently I saw a picture of wearing uh, the new sneakers, um, my, my, fr my friend Emily Radikowski, I love the way that she styled kind of these orange sneakers with just like a neutral kind of black legging and uh, simple kind of workout outfit, which I thought was a really like great way to kind of get a pop of color in without it being like maybe if, if too much a good yeah. place to start you Perfect. know yeah I love that um okay I have a question for you okay okay so somebody asked if I want to go into STEM but I'm afraid how have you combated fear yeah that's so cute. like such a good question I feel like I get that question a lot so it's always really important yeah. to me to kind of come up with like a really an answer that would have helped me when I was kind of scared to get into STEM and just feeling kind of daunted about the field. But what I always try to remind myself is that everyone is confused and no one knows what they're doing. Everyone is kind of just as shy and nervous about the field as you are. So I would just say, mm -hmm. throw yourself into it. Really try to learn and absorb as much information as possible. If you are um, a part of any female-centered communities or are looking to join one, join Code with Classy or find any community of girls that are really passionate about supporting each other and uplifting each other. Because I found that when I'm in a, a tech space that's male dominated and I'm feeling kind of scared or anxious, I can always lean back on my friends at Code With Glossy and they always re-inspire me and always keep me going. So I love having that and I love having that feeling of community uh, within STEM. I love that. I, I totally agree. I think that the kind of like knowing you're not alone, knowing you're, you know, it, it is, is so important, like finding your community, finding your people, like what, no matter what it is that you're entering, but especially if you're entering a traditionally male dominated field, you know, I think, I definitely think for, for me also, um, and this goes beyond just like going into STEM, but not letting other people's expectations of you hold you back from what you know you're capable of doing or what you are, you know, dream of doing and following your path, following your passions, and letting that be what guides you as opposed to other people's expectations or limitations. A hundred percent, yes. That's so important. Um, I think another question that we have is, what motivates you to stay fit? Um, I, you know what, some days more than others, it takes more motivation, especially <laughs> now that like, I, my belly is getting bigger by like the minute. So some days I'm like, I just want to take a nap. I'm <laughs> not really in the mood to work out, but I definitely, I exercise for my mind. I always have, like, I'm somebody who really feels like I, I feel like a, a better version of myself when I take care of myself. And that's like both, you know, eating really nutritious, good food, but also, um, just like staying sharp. Like I feel like meditating and running have been really great outlets for me to just kind of like help not just tone my body, but like sharpen my mind. And I think that's the bigger difference, especially in the immediate sense, you know, you go for a run and like maybe it doesn't get you to kind of your fitness goals overnight, but like it immediately changes like how you feel and the energy that you're bringing to your day and whatever it is you're 
going into. So for me, like, that is my daily kind of like reason for waking up in the morning and breaking a sweat. What about you? Yeah, I think that I definitely use exercising and kind of working out to kind of combat a lot of different things in my life. So I was a cheerleader and I kind of talked about that within the campaign. But growing up, I was super, super shy and kind of just in my shell. So I started cheerleading when Mm. I was really young and I did all star, which is when you kind of like go out and there are thousands of people and you have to perform. So I kind of did that as a way to be comfortable in myself and who I am as a person and really kind of perform Mm. in front of others and get used to just being around a lot of people. And it made me so much more confident about myself and, and who I am as a person. So I really, really enjoy doing that and just kind of coming into my own. But then even after that, I never really saw exercising as something to do with for fitness. And it it was always just about kind of character building. So as I started college, I got really, really, stressed out and I never saw exercising as something I could do to kind of work on my stress work on my anxiety so one day I just went to the gym and I discovered running and I started running one mile a day and then I pushed it to like two miles three miles and I would go every day and I'd start running and I I was immediately feeling better after I'd go and run a couple miles Mm. and I just felt so much lighter and so much better so my kind of relationship with working out and exercising has never truly been about the fitness aspect of it, but it has always made me feel kind of just better as a person and more comfortable in my own skin, which I love. I love that. And I totally, totally agree. And I love the way that you talk about like is sport, not just about like a means to an end, like, you know, trying to meet a fitness goal that you set for yourself, but like actually like sport is like a lifestyle. And I I think that's the way I've always approached it too. growing up playing a ton of sports, you know, on teams. And there's so many like things that you learn without even realizing it just about, about teamwork, about leadership, about, about discipline and uh, endurance. And, and I, and I think that community, that communal aspect of, of sport is really powerful too. Am I, are you still on the NYU cheerleading team? Is that we so, or is this are, year that on pause? We are on pause. Yeah. I'm really, really sad. I haven't done any flips or anything in a really long time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to brag for you. You make the craziest like backflips look easy. It makes me nervous actually to watch you like do your backflips. I know. And I can't. I feel like like your mom. I'm like, no, wait, you're gonna hurt yourself. Like no. I know. There, there's a funny story about this. I did do a, a bit of a backflip on set very close to a ledge and it yeah. got a little scary. Oh my God. I, I was really, I was not happy with you. I was like, hey, you're going to backflip off the building, girl. Like, um, but again, you are fearless and it's, it's amazing. Um, okay. Quick reminder for those of you who are just joining us for this live stream. I am so excited to be going live right now with Alexis Williams, a brilliant Code of Classy scholar and star of our new Adidas Carly Claus collection campaign, which we actually have, I I hope you guys can see right now, I pinned a product from the collection and you can actually shop right now as we are talking and, and showing you more product of which we're going to do, um, show you more of the pieces and kind of uh, what, what inspired them all. So stay with us and welcome if you're just joining us. And um, I think we have a little game we were going to play too, right? Alexis, yes. What do you think? We do. And yes. then we can, because I want to show some of the product too. I want to show some details and stuff for those who haven't seen it yet. And by the way, anyone who has it, hasn't seen the product yet, you can find it on adidas.com. And we just launched in stores um, just last week. So get excited because um, honestly, actually, I think today might even be the last day that you can buy online for it to get to you before the holidays. So make the most of this little shopping cart at the bottom <laughs> of your screen here. Um, okay, so our game, Alexis, have. I feel like you're really good at, first of all, you're really good at styling. I love your Instagram. You always look so chic, but beyond that, like in real life, you always look (laughs) like, you look like you have a filter on you. Like you're always like flawless and put together (laughs) and styled, like no matter where we are. So this game is kind of like some fun, silly scenarios 
of kind of like where, you know, what scenario you might be in and how to style like what you're going to wear for that scenario. So yes, let's do it. Okay. So scenario number one, this is an easy one. Yes. An at home workout. What would you wear? Okay, so I am already obsessed with the black mesh leggings. Like, I feel like those are perfect for an at-home workout. And I think that what's even better about these black leggings is that you can throw them on and wear them for the workout. Look at these. Look at these leggings, guys. Like, I have the orange ones here. The mesh is unreal. So slimming. And... It's something that I feel like you could wear at an at-home workout and then just go grab a coffee or something right after because they're so chic, so stylish. I would definitely wear the white sports bra, which Mm -hmm. I think Carly has on with them. I love this sports bra. This is the low support bra. Love it. And it has like the little logo here. Yes. By the way, I love that this is like, I feel like we're, you know, QVC here. I'm so here for it. So here you have the logo and... (laughs) But it's really, it's true. This, um, do you like the low support bra more than the medium support bra? Have you tried this one? I love, but I tried that orange one exactly, actually. What I love about the medium support bra is the straps. So Mm -hmm. cute. But I love a low support bra because I am very um, no bra and it feels like nothing is there. So it's perfect for me. I love it. I totally agree. I, I think like, for for kind of a, like if you're doing yoga or if you're just doing going for like a nice walk, um, that, you know, or like any sort of low intensity workout, this is my my go to that I always reach for. Like you said, it feels kind of like you're not like wearing anything with like tight straps or yeah. too constricting, um, but it does give you a good little bit of cleavage, which you know never hurts. Now and then this one, the medium support bra, I actually really love for running. So like. If I'm going out for a run, this is what I I grab because it also feels like really light. There's not a lot of kind of like tight straps or underwires or anything. There's actually not not no wires, um, but it just really like kind of holds you in in all the right ways. So yes, mm-hmm. and that that line, the way that it looks at the top is so cute. The neckline is perfect. I, you know what I love about this too, is that you can wear this almost even like a crop top. Like it's yes. a sports bra, but also it's like quite stylish. And with the straps, like you can just wear it like with leggings and, you know, in a class, like you can, sometimes I feel self-conscious, like, you know, just in a sports bra and leggings, but like this medium support bra feels like covered enough and, and kind of supportive enough that yes. you can just wear it with leggings. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's our at-home workout look. I love it. Um, I have to say, the sneakers, I am still, like, I don't know if you guys have seen. I'll show you more up close. But, like, these are the raw amber color so of the sneakers. Cute. And I love how they turned out. I love, I don't know, like, I'm really, I love the simplicity of, like, the matted out um all white all black and all raw amber like the black ones I mean they're already like kind of (laughs) really dirty because I've worn them (laughs) nonstop since I got them but the black ones I have to say are already a bestseller because like I I love them and they're they're you know flying off the shelf so hurry up and get a pair go get Um, your sneakers guys get your sneaks exactly because I love like a really good just like neutral like this you can just wear it with everything and anything and it just looks like looks really polished and I don't know about you but I like I love this kind of sneaker also not just for a workout but for like street style it's got it's got personality it's got style like it feels very cool in my opinion yeah I have the the white ones and I always throw them on with like a pair of jeans they look so good with the leggings so they're such a staple for me okay yay yay (laughs) <laughs> okay, the next scenario in our game here is a virtual Code with Glossy reunion. What would you wear for a virtual Code with Glossy reunion? Okay, so when I think about this, I'm thinking I'm on Zoom, I have my cute little look on, and I'm definitely going for these cover-up shirts. I'm obsessed. Mm-hmm. I have 
I think I have both colors, but I think I definitely go with this one being my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I, this is actually a piece that I love because it goes great with um, just kind of the athleisure, the athletic wear, but it's also something that I could wear with something casual. So I have on like just a white tank top now. So I'd probably keep that in just like a pair of jeans, even though no one's really seeing it on Zoom. But I just love this piece for how versatile it is. So I love that. And I have to also say there's some questions here. Um, I'm trying to pin this. Let's see here. I think I just pinned it. Still getting used to this new tool, but I, I really love it. So um, the blue is another kind of hero color in this collection. So we have the kind of raw amber orange, and then we also have this blue, which- So cute. So we have the low support bra in the indigo blue. And then also, like you said, the piece you're wearing, which looks so good on you. Um, and this is kind of another hero silhouette that uh, we may or may not be continuing in future collections. Um, so stay tuned. And then somebody else asked, I saw a comment go by about the blue leggings. And I have to say, I really love, I, we were very, I was very excited for a couple of reasons to really like focus on evolved basics. That's like something that, you know, I, I don't know about you, Alexis, but like I always come back to the same pieces that I just know and love that like when I find a, a pair of leggings that fits my body in the right way, is flattering, is, is kind of chic and, and comfortable, I buy a dozen of them and just kind of wear like the same pieces or same styles. And so I wanted to create a collection of evolved basics of the perfect sports bra, the perfect leggings, and these leggings I'm really proud of because the, the cut, the material, the, the Adidas design team and I really focused a lot on like the small things that really make a big difference. And so we have them in black and in blue and in orange, like we showed you. And the blue is just really nice because it's not, you know, obviously. What I love. Of, it has a little bit of, yeah, of color, but it's not like it's not uh, quite as bright as our orange. <laughs> what I love about those leggings is where they fall on your waist. Mm -hmm. Those were the first piece. That was the first piece that I yeah. wore um, day of. <laughs> and I, I was, I was li it's so comfortable right there. Like it feels so good. So I was like, yeah. I love these leggings. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Um, okay, and you're so right. I mean, I don't know anybody else who's still uh, joining us right now. By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome. We're going through the new collection, uh, Carly Kloss X Adidas, that just launched. And I have with me the brilliant Alexis Williams, who is one of the stars of the campaign. And we're going through different pieces um, that we love. And I have to say, I'm out of breath here. But like sitting on Zoom all day, all I do is like wear a nice top and like make sure like my hair is brushed. And then on the bottoms, like I have leggings and like, you know, slippers on. Like it's just, it's just <laughs> life these days. So these leggings are really comfortable. Um, so comfy. Yeah. Athleisure has a whole new meaning. Um, okay, let's do maybe one more quick scenario. So what about when you're running to the bodega? Because I know you live in New York City and you're a girl on the go. So what are you wearing when you run out the door to the bodega? Definitely. I am always looking for a late night snack and I have one right <laughs> on the corner. So this is perfect. I think for this one, I am definitely going to grab the flared orange pants. So cute. And those are amazing because you can wear the leggings underneath or nothing underneath. It's so, I love them. And Yay. I love the detailing on the side. It, it would definitely get me some, some attention because that orange really pops out with like a cute little outfit. And yeah. I would definitely throw on some of those sneakers on the bottom and maybe even the cropped shirt and I just like run out the door. So cute. I love I, those. You know, I love the way that you just um, explained like styling these with leggings underneath, mm -hmm. which uh, I think is, I think you wore them exactly like that in the campaign and they look yes. so good on you to kind of have like the black legging pop out underneath and then this kind of just like as you walk, just kind of be- Yeah, just flares, so cute. Effortless and cool. 
the part of the inspiration behind these pants was so I know I'm a little bit older than you, lady, but um, I used to love growing up like the snap pants, the like iconic Adidas snap pants. Um, and, and they're still super cool, but like I wanted to create kind of a slightly updated version of the iconic Adidas snap pant. So that's what yes, we did. Yes, I love that because growing up, I was all about the snap pants. I played basketball for a really long time. So just seeing that in the collection really brought me back. I was like, it really feels like a sports collection. Like it just reminded me of all of those things that I did in sports growing up. So that's why I love them. It's like such a fashionable look, but it's definitely still super practical. So it's good. Yay. I'm so happy to hear that because that's also part of what we really wanted to create. Like I wanted to create pieces that were going to be super high functioning for whatever performance, you know, that like whatever kind of like actual technical needs you need from them, whether you're going for a run, whether you're in cheer practice, whether you're doing a, you know, Pilates workout or a high intensity training workout, whatever it is, but being able to have product that can keep up with you and also be fashionable uh, for, you know, the busy lives we all lead and like transitional pieces that you can throw on to run to the bodega or run to a class and um, be able to have fashionable functional pieces all in one collection so that's that's it i mean guys i'm out of breath i feel like, i don't know if it's a pregnancy thing or just i'm really excited about this um but i will let you go alexis i don't want to keep you i don't want to keep everyone but i do just want to say thank you so much for joining us i am so so excited about this collection and really hope i can't um say it enough today is if you're trying to get a piece for a loved one or for yourself before the holidays today is the last day to shop before the holidays so give your in the in the spirit of self-love and self-care get yourself a nice cute little piece or for <laughs> someone that you love and um, yes. and and i hope you have a great holiday season and alexis i miss you i love you and i love you, so you. Much for everything. i'm so proud of you. So proud of this collection. I've bought so many pieces. Everyone in my family is getting something and I just like could not be more excited about this. So thank you for having me today and in the campaign like I'm over the moon. Oh my gosh, girl, look out modeling industry. We have a new supermodel on the scene. I am telling you. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you. Mwah. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye.